And right now it's time to show you this morning's <laughs> headlines. The New York Times says there's a change in the way television viewers are counted. The Nielsen Ratings Service will start including viewers who watch shows on their computers. Nielsen also says in the future it will count viewers using mobile devices. The Los Angeles Times says American wines have something to toast. Wine exports hit record levels last year, reaching $1.4 billion. Sales to China were up 18 percent. The Durham Herald Sun says University of North Carolina is joining 29 other schools to offer online courses for free. The so-called massive courses will start this fall. They'll be open to students around the world. New Jersey's Asbury Park Press says officials are closer to removing that roller coaster destroyed by Superstorm Sandy. The wreckage of the coaster became a symbol of the devastation. Its removal will help clear the way for the pier to partially reopen just in time for Memorial Day weekend. That's and good. USA Today says airlines raised fares aimed at business travelers this week. Delta started things off Tuesday, boosting prices by up to $10 for tickets bought within seven days of domestic travel. Several other carriers carriers followed before the current hike airlines had tried and failed to raise prices three other times this year alone.